Like, share, and subscribe, you already know Grab a drink, kick back, and enjoy the show I drop major keys like playing piano Trying to keep you on your square, and I ain't talking about flannel All these other channels be lame, I'm not on a panel And I see right through them dames, man, they open like sandals I went from vandal to scandal to businessman with a channel And I'm here to kill the game, leave your trinkets and candles Been a long time coming to drop this shit, no plumbing And I'm hungry for success, belly won't stop rumbling Stop watching these lame channels with no content It's time for them to hit Hell the king on a knee that's bent Or they can get on both knees Pray and repent I'm heaven sent It's game time I'm off of the bench Yo, what's up YouTube? This your boy Chaney Live Coming at y'all with another vlog again This particular vlog I want to talk to y'all about suffering from success suffering from success there's a lot of people out here that want to be popular they want to be famous they want to be millionaires they want to be billionaires you know they want to be successful it's okay success is great okay success is the most it's just a blessing Okay, but this is what you need to understand. Everybody has their own idea of what success is. You can be successful and not be on television. You can be successful and not be a social media star. You can be successful and not be a lawyer, doctor, what everybody else says you need to be to be successful. You can be successful by your own personal definition of being successful. The problem is everybody is, is believing that the definition of being successful means being famous, being known by multitudes of people. You know, there's a lot of curses that come with being famous. A lot of people don't take it into consideration. Famous people, they can't just go shot. They can't, let's say you cooking your favorite meal. Oh man, you cook your favorite meal. You got all the ingredients, but you missing one thing. A stick of butter, right? You can't just hop in your car and go to Walmart and get a stick of butter. You got to call this person. That person might have to call that person. That person may have to call that person. Now, Nine out of ten times, if that's not the case, you already got people around. Okay? You got so many people around you, you can't even... You can't even pick your nose. There's so many people around you. So, you, yeah, you'll have people around that you can send to the store. Hey, go get me this. Go get me that. Go get me this. Go get me that. And at that point, you got so many people going to get you this and this and that and that. You got so many people handling your money. You don't know if they pocketing money and, and not giving you. You like, keep the change. Keep the change. Keep the change. Keep the change. Man, you can kept the change so much, you don't even realize you have lost thousands and thousands and, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, no peace, no peace. When you become famous, you don't, you're not your own person anymore. You belong to the crowd. You belong to society. It's all about what they want. You can't have a bad day. You have a bad day. Somebody want an autograph. You say, no, I ain't giving you no autograph. You all over TMZ. So-and-so is a prick because he didn't do an autograph for this person. You just trying to get from A to B without any interruption. You're not in the mood to be interrupted. You're not in the mood to deal with anybody this at this particular moment. You dig? You can't be a regular person. 
you have people can come up to you and be like, you are they can call you any name in the book. I can't say it. But they can call you any name in the book. They can disrespect you. They can treat you any kind of way. And you can't even stand up for yourself because you do not belong to yourself anymore. If you stand up for yourself and just be who you are, your regular, your real person, not the person they want you to be, but the person you really are, when you do that, Boom, you on TMZ, you in court, you being sued, you being ran through through the mud. You got all these lawsuits. You got to settle all these lawsuits. You got to break all these people off with bread just because somebody hopped in your face and pushed you and you punched them in their mouth. Even though somebody put their hands on you, you by law and by humanity and just regular you have a right to defend yourself. Not when you famous. Not when you famous. So, there's a lot of curses, man, that come with being successful. There's a lot of uh, suffering that comes with being successful. You can't be, the, you can't be, be home. You can't do what you want to do. You do not, you no longer belong to yourself. You belong to the, these people. And to give you a prime example of what I'm talking about, let's look at Monique, for example. Y'all know the famous actor Monique. She played in Precious, things of that nature. When Monique decided, hey, no, I ain't doing it. No, I'm not, I ain't, I'm not going. This I want this, I want to spend time with my family. I am not going. She got black balls, she got cut off, she got ran through the mud. They will not let her do anything, all because she stood up for herself, okay? So, you can be successful, but it don't have to be the way that all these people are doing it. They don't care if you got shot in your ass. You better be on that got that on stage ready to perform. But Molly got robbed and shot and came out on stage the next day because he knew people needed to see him. He came out there after being shot and performed. The very next day after he was his house was 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 robbed and he was shot. Okay? That's a beautiful thing. And that's a great thing. And people say, "Oh, that's great that he would do that." That's great. But should he had should he have had to do it in the first place. Shouldn't he have been able to rest and recover without feeling the pressure of not letting his fans down? These people, they smiling on TV, they smiling on these videos, they throwing all this money around, but they are slaves. They are slaves. We slaves, to a certain extent, as mankind in the United States, and I ain't talking about a black thing, I'm talking about slaves from the aspect of humanity and how things were set up, okay? But we're slaves, but they are even bigger slaves. Successful people are even in a tighter form of slavery than your common man so i want y'all to consider that De create your own idea of success it's not based on what these other people are doing be a free successful person this is your boy cheney live just wanted to share those ideas with you thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and share the video and i will be at you on the next Vlog.